I got chills, they're multiplying. And I've got you for 16 miles. This is part two of imagination, my friend. Get excited. Think about what you can do with your imagination. What, what have you done? with the use of your imagination. The possibilities are endless. I got cut off. Once again, Santos Jr. here. Make sure to subscribe, turn on your notifs right here on YouTube so when I go live stream, upload a video, you get notified. Support this mission, please, I pray. Donate $20, $30, the link will be below. This is a secure mission. The way of a soldier, the way of a fruitful, more fruitful way of living. That's what this mission is all about, my friend. So I'm about changing mindsets. I'm about being happy every day. I'm about challenging yourself. I am about helping you get to that place, that next level. That's why I call my business S Rolon NXTL Consulting. NXTL stands for next level. You want to get to that next level in your life? What is that? What Do you know what that next level is? Do you know what it is? Are you heading there? Are you? Be excited. If you're heading there, be excited, my friend. Take courage. Use your imagination. Now, we're going back to the imagination. We talked about where it comes from, where it is. It's a colorful place. Let me tell you something. Your mind does not know the difference between something that happens real, in real time, or imagined. Your mind does, really doesn't know the difference. I know that's kind of a... Uh, well, you, I didn't understand that until I began to experience it and realize it. You can, you can take a trip in your own mind. You can be on an airplane right now, okay? You can imagine, while I'm sharing with you, you can imagine yourself being, you know, sitting at the top of a coconut tree, right? You're sitting there at the top of a coconut tree trying to reach down below you to get some coconuts, but, oh, you fell down, all right? You see... Your, your mind, your mind is powerful. Your, people talk about, people are in, in prisons today. They don't know how to get out of those prisons that they're in. They're, they need solutions. They need answers. They need more money. They need to build a better character so that they can have better relationships with not only their family, but with coworkers. My, the government, the United States government needs to build better character. What's going on in that place? You know what I mean? Imagination, imagination, powerful. You have this gift. What would you, and, and okay, so how do you get started using imagination? We wanna keep this video short. How do you, wh where do you go? How do you, you must study imagination. You gotta study imagination. You gotta to listen to where the sources are that provide you information about imagination. This is where it starts. And of course it starts with desire. You gotta have hunger. You gotta have burning hunger inside you. Anytime that you wanna make change in your life, you wanna transform your life, you gotta have burning hunger. There has to be burning desire inside you, my friend. You wanna build a business, you wanna build a business, uh, a, uh, you wanna build your dream, you gotta have burning desire. Where does that come from? Imagination. The imagination station. You must sit down with yourself, pull out that old rusty notebook, pull out that old rusty pen and begin thinking on paper with yourself. Sometimes we don't have nobody, right? We don't. I'm talking to my sister from Connecticut. She feels all alone. She's got family all around her. Sometimes it's challenging because she doesn't want to listen. You, you must take heed. You must be willing to do your homework. You must be willing to do your homework because that's the only way that you're going to, you're going to produce a harvest for yourself. You want answers, you want solutions, you have to go to work. You have to work this imagination station for yourself. And that's why I always tell people, when you watch my videos, take notes. I'm getting better, I'm getting better, I'm gonna get better, I am. And you will too. You, got, you must believe, imagination, see yourself. Earl Nightingale says, you know what, act as if the thing in question were so. You want to be somebody, you want to be a certain type of individual, you want to act like that. Imagine, imagine how you can act like and be like that person. My friend, this is powerful, powerful message that I'm sharing with you here. Don't walk away from this video with nothing. Walk away with something. 
remember, you have the gift of imagination. It's been given to you by your master, by your creator. It's been given to you. You can exercise. You can begin watering that seed to develop. Imagine. Imagine with me for a moment. What would you do? <coughs> Where would you go? What answer do you need right now for yourself? What, answer, what do you need? And obviously, when you can sit down and imagine and brainstorm with another mastermind, with another individual, that takes it to a whole nother level. That's one of the reasons why I offer life coaching. You can always check out my page at soldiersofselfmastery.com. And again, this is a very serious commitment today when it comes to coaching and uh, spending time uh, with each other. But I'm telling you, that if you listen to this message and you, you brainstorm, listen to this message again, if you must listen to this message two or three times to get what you need to get out of it for yourself so you can begin exercising your own imagination, your imagination will get you out of hole. It'll get you out of those dark places that you may be in right now that you feel like you're stuck. Your imagination will help you get, get out of there. It's your key. Exercise it. Take advantage of it. Use it water it my friend and once you uh, study once you learn exercise exercise the heck out of it until you get the fruits from your labor my friend I truly appreciate you on this one Wednesday wonderful Wednesday morning wherever you are again I do hope that you're making your day super fantastic terrific and over the top in spite of and because of to the maxima to the maxima I'm telling you man we don't know how much time we got left. We got to make the best out of every day. You got to make the best of your mindset. You got to make the best of your speech. You got to make the best of your imagination. Make the best of whatever you can do for others, my friend. Peace through strength. I'll see you on the next one. If you need coaching, hit me up, my friend, or call me direct. 336-3184-209, my friend. Salute!